Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lena. I'm coming from behind the desk today to show you my weekly spread and my Erin Condren Life Planner. So here are some of the stickers that I'm using. The kit is from Planner Kate. Um, it's like a honeybee vibes. These are my Micron pens. And then I have some extra like horseback riding icons, taekwondo icons, Instagram icons, and those kind of things. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I do usually with these sticker kits is put the washi along the top, covering up the weekdays and the dates, because I do have stickers now that are the days of the week and number stickers. Um, sometimes the kits come with them that you can buy, sometimes they don't, and then put the washi in a different spot, but I kind of like how it is all like at the top, and then I put the day stickers over it with the number stickers there as well. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, after I move my coffee out of the way, I'm going to use my Micron pen and use those blue, I guess they're boxes, but they're kind of like a divider line between the vertical layout. So this is the Erin Condren Life Planner vertical layout. So there's three boxes vertically. So people do all sorts of things with the boxes and usually... I kind of go from top to bottom as far as my day. So the morning is like, or the top is the morning. The middle boxes are the afternoons or to do's and then the bottoms are in the afternoon. Now, sometimes if you look at my other videos, I use the sticker kit where I put stickers all along the bottom rows just to like fill it up and make it look a little bit more cuter. This week, I'm, instead of covering them up with uh, white out, which sometimes I do, I'm using the blue, boxes or lines I'm gonna call them a box it's like a line box <laughs> to my advantage because they 100% match the kit so I'm kind of using it as a pretend sticker sort of thing um, and I'm in my head I already know like okay that Tuesday box right so we're on Tuesday now that day is Taekwondo at this time Wednesday is Taekwondo on this time Thursday is gymnastics now Saturday is Taekwondo in the morning so that's why it's in the upper box and then Sunday is horseback riding that's in the morning too so I'm just kind of making a border around them and then keeping a mental note in my head before I write anything down with uh, as far as words in my planner I put the stickers down beforehand to denote how the day is going to go, specific events, specific appointments, and sometimes meals. But you'll see here that I'm starting to border out the bottom section. So some people use this for meals. Some people use this for like tracking different things. Sometimes I do it for um, Instagram posts. So the bottom blue part that's shaded is going to be an Instagram section so that I can kind of plan it ahead of time because I've been really slacking with that and then I'm marking off with a dotted line what my dinner is going to be every day. Okay so now that I've got things filled in or at least marked off that I know are going to happen every day or happen like during the week that is kind of like standard for every week for us then I can move on to what's happening specifically this week that's not already set in stone. So I'm gonna look back at my monthly, take a look at the week and just kind of see, oh, okay, we've got uh, camps, we have a swimming play date, we have things at the end of the week. So then from there, I kind of think about the other stickers that are in the kit to mark those off.
Sometimes it's just trial and error. Sometimes I go to put a sticker down and then you can see something underneath it so I have to use white out. Sometimes I use my little like paint um, tool scraper. You see it on the side on the left hand side usually. I have that out and I can lift up a sticker if I make a mistake or if I want to place it somewhere else. Planner Kate stickers are amazing for being able to lift them off pretty quickly and put them in another spot without them getting ruined or ripping up on the page. So I would recommend those. <laughs> I'll leave the uh, sticker kit link in the description box below. But basically you might be saying like, well, how do you know where to put a sticker? How do you know what looks good? I mean, it's kind of just trial and error again, or search YouTube, search Instagram, search Pinterest, and you can kind of like see that there's sort of a pattern. You know, I mean, I put all those little boxes along the top on a slant. So I, I've never done that before. And I was like, oh, that kind of looks okay. It's all uniform, you know, and then using the same similar boxes for similar things like to do's can have the same sort of box or at least the same sort of checklist. I love little icon stickers. So I have the Instagram stickers. I have the Taekwondo stickers. Um, Sometimes when you order from Planner Kate, she gives you uh, samplers. So some of those like the present box, the dumbbells, the notes um, with a little thumbtack in it, the little hearts, those were all extra icons that I was using to kind of, they're from the kit or they were from leftover kits to kind of just make it look a little bit more cutesy. Okay, so now I'm basically ready to put in all of the writing for this planner. So I don't know if you've ever seen this, if you're new to the planner community, these are some of the terms that I've learned <laughs> on my journey. But like when you have stickers down and there's no writing, like before you write anything in, it's called before the pen. And then once it's done, you would say after the pen. So fun fact, planner history. Uh, so basically I'm just filling in what's going on for our week. So sometimes if I am really smart I write on the sticker ahead of time but I'm usually like just a hot mess that I'm like ah I forgot and then I just do it afterwards but it is easier if you kind of like pre-plan on the sticker sheet and write down what's going to go on each of the stickers so then you already know so even if you're not sure like do I have enough of the same matching boxes to make a to-do list every day or maybe even just like Monday Wednesday Friday then you can kind of see it all in uniform um Kristen Kramer is notorious for writing them before she puts them in the spread and I just feel like it makes it easier so that's probably better for pre-planning so go check out her videos too <laughs> Okay, so that's how my week turned out. Uh, I left some stuff blank. There's kind of a lot of white sp space in this um, that I'm not loving, but it's kind of how it goes. And then I fill it in more during the week. Now, the next step that I've been doing every week is to fill in my daily duo pages ahead of time so that I am successful during the week. They're already stickered. They already have a basic plan, at least the outline of the day, things I can't forget, some random to do things, my weekly focus as far as like cleaning and different tasks around my house. Um, so that's also something that I've been trying to do to just stay on top of my shit. So <laughs> these pages are 
the Erin Condren Daily Duo pages. The actual whole planner is an Erin Condren Life Planner Daily Duo. Okay, that's so much jargon. If you're like, what the hell is that? Erin Condren is a company that makes planners. Her brand is called a Life Planner. You can have a weekly planner, a monthly planner, or a daily planner, and the daily planner is called a Daily Duo. <laughs> so what I did though for this planner, um, I'll leave in the cards up top, I franken planned it. So basically I cut it together. So I combined a weekly planner with a daily planner and then it still had the monthly planner spreads in it. So now it's kind of like my catch all for everything. So I'm using that until the end of August. And then in September, I'm going to switch to an hourly. I don't know if I'm going to franken plan it yet. I'm not sure, but basically long story longer, this is how I planned out my week using the sticker kit. So these are more sticker kits from Planner Kate. These are daily duo sticker kits. And these are like super basic. Um, just some washi on the top, the day stickers, number stickers, and then I use either a highlighter or just my pen to make time stamps for things, random to-do lists, our meals, because I've already pre-planned our meals for the week, and just sort of fill it in for the whole week. And it's been working so much better. Okay, so Sunday was a little bit tricky because I knew that we had plans, but I wasn't sure what time they were starting. 
Um, and by that point, I'd been sitting down for too long. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to put a sticky and we'll be done with that. So I'm going to come back to that later in the week. And that still works. <laughs> All right. So that's it, my friends. I hope that you got some inspiration from this video. You learned a little bit more about how to put stickers down, how to pre-plan and the benefits of that. Um, I'm going to leave the video in the next slide, in the ending slide, um, about how I set up my daily duo for the first time. I was so excited about it. I made a little song, a little jingle about it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, friends. Talk to you soon. Bye.